A judge ordered last week saying any Tennessean who is afraid to vote in person due to the coronavirus can request an absentee ballot. But News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us that's forced election commissions to retool their offices less than two months before Election Day. If there's a lesson we're learning in 2020, probably 350 requests a day. It's expect the unexpected. So of course the 2020 election is no different. We've been sending ballots out since the second week of May. The Davidson County election administrator figured a few months ago absentee ballots would be a popular choice. We tried to get ahead of the game and have our ballots printed earlier than we normally do and make them available to the public earlier. Then a Tennessee judge ruled the fear of the coronavirus was a valid excuse for anyone to get an absentee ballot. We have already gone back to the printer twice. Normally only 2% of registered voters vote by mail in Davidson County. This year? It could be as high as 50%. We really don't have a good feel yet. Which is why he's hired 15 new employees to keep up with all the new demands and says they will be able to provide as many ballots as voters request. Even if you decide you don't want to go the absentee ballot route, the Davidson County Election Commission says they will have safeguards in place to keep you safe on Election Day, including these very familiar blue X's to keep everyone socially distant. You'll also have more locations for early voting this year. We've expanded the number of days. We will have all 11 sites open for early voting. So while 2020 has been the year of expecting the unexpected, Jeff hopes his team will still exceed them. If you want to vote uh, Election Day, we will be ready for you. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Roberts predicts they won't have the same issues as Georgia had this week. They aren't using new voting equipment, and they are using all of their precincts instead of just a handful like Georgia.